All right, and we're back in Harry Potter for the first time in a year. Yay! Well, I know I uploaded that one in January, but I recorded it like November. So it's interesting. The particle effects is there before the Norris, I could have sworn I heard before the lock. Yeah, Let's check the library, my sweet. That's he, he. He has a somewhat creepy voice. It has to be said. <laughs> Let's check the library. <laughs> Where's he gone now? Why are there all these doors that are completely barred off? If like, are they just there for debt? I suppose it makes sense to have a bunch of doors, cause. I mean, Aha! I've heard you for sure this time. Quick, Mrs. Norris. Yeah. So getting down is actually trickier than getting up, as you would expect in You'll a game that progressively get gets harder now, and harder. Uh, because, as you can see, Mrs. Norris is patrolling the top of the bookshelves, which, prior to now, were a safe haven from Filch. So, like, even if even if he saw you, you were you were safe. All right. You gotta you gotta watch the movement patterns. Figure out. Figure it out. Yeah. So when she turns around, goes back the other way. That's my time to move. Now wait for it. Shit, always missed that. And all right, we're good. Um. Okie dokie. Man, Filch is right there. Uh, well, it's not really an intruder unless it's someone that wasn't in the school at all to begin with. I mean, if it was... Voldemort sneaking in or some shit like that. Yeah, that'd be an intruder, but otherwise. <laughs> intruder! Alright. I think the cat's stuck. That that could be very advantageous for me. Not that I need the advantage, because I'm very good at this game. Except for all the parts with broomstick flying. Oh, hey, it's Nick. Hello again, Harry. Nick, shut the fuck up! You're gonna give me, you're gonna give me away! What the fuck happened there? Yes, well done, Harry. Yeah, yeah, shut up, shut up. You being too loud, you're going to give my position away. Help me if you want, but be quiet about it, for God's sake. Yeah, cat's still stuck. This is great, I don't have to worry about her at all. I still better be, like, paying attention, though, in case she gets unstuck. Yep, there's Nick again. Whoop. Yep. Whoop. Yep. Yeah. Who's that? Where is he? Pray I don't find you, my stealthy little Why'd you assume I'm a boy? What's that? I mean, I am. But why'd you assume that, Felch? Who was that? Hmm? Someone's got past me. Everyone gets past you. What's 
going on? Who was that? Oh, someone's got past me. You just said that, man. Alright, uh, okay. Yep. Yep. There we go. Now, what's in here? Ooh! Plot advancement! Wow! You can see the look of amazement on his face! Ah. Uh. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Yep. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Yeah. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised. Why wouldn't they just have the characters talk? He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts. But that it would give neither knowledge uh, nor truth. The mirror what would I see? will be moved to a new home shortly. Dino Probably Dino something Dino, involving dinosaurs. ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? Thought Harry. Yeah. That, that seems the most likely. Filthy whelks gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. See, you're using you're using pluralized Stay here and statements the there, the so you're assuming there's more than one. So I I don't know. Wow, look at that door closing animation. So, I'm actually, at the time of this recording, maybe even time of upload, because I usually like to compress and upload these as soon as I can. Anyway, today, t today's Valentine's Day. So, and, and I'm here doing Let's Plays for you guys, because I care about the fans. I could be out doing Valentine things, like... Uh, like hanging out with my girlfriend or something like that. Or at least I would if I actually had a girlfriend. Yeah, so, yeah. But if I did, I'd... No, I wouldn't be doing this. No chance in hell. Well, yeah. Only way out of this room is past that gate. He makes an awful racket. You take that side of the room. All right. You take this one. You catch you, Mrs. Norris. So. Intruder! What's that? Come out. Come so, out. Come out. there's a part are. in the book and kind of in the movie where Harry's in his invisibility cloak and Miss oh. Norris is there and he's like, oh, you can, can, does, does an invisibility work? The invisibility cloak work on cats because she's like growling and stuff. Um, and the an the answer is no because look, she can't fucking see me. Look at her. The only reason Mrs. Norris knew Harry was there or whatever was because it was like. He made noise, or she could smell him, or something like that. And then, of course, people just assume that means cats can see through invisibility cloaks. So you get all this, you got all this bullshit theories like, I think Mad Eye Moody's eye is a cat's eye, and that's why he can see through the invisibility cloak. No, it's not. It's just magic the fuck out of it. Cats can't see through invisibility cloaks, guys. It is a fallacy of the Harry Potter universe. Uh. 
All right, now go across to this one. See? Nothing from the cat. Oh shit 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 She noticed me she noticed me she noticed me she noticed me Uh I I got too overzealous Uh that that was that was fucking close would have had to redo this entire puzzle all over again. Alright. Just wait for him to head back the other way. And then we go do the last button. And we're scot free, fuckers. Of course, us getting off scot free in this part completely eliminates the entirety of the Forbidden Forest scene. So, he doesn't have a very good attention span, does he? Because it's like, oh, there's a kid running around in the school. Blah, blah, blah. Peeves! Holy shit, we need to take care of that. I'm going to say it again. It always sucked that Peeves wasn't in the movies. Totally should have been played by Rowan Atkinson. Ah... Uh, it's the last Fred and George meeting in the game. Where the hell was that button? There wasn't a button. What? This is just a little bit sinister. And the camera is freaking the fuck out. Um, so... The game sort of crashed a bit. Um, so I'll, I'll have to edit these two separate recordings together, which is going to be a total bitch, but what are you going to do? He's hoping it doesn't crash immediately again. <sighs> okay, it looks, looks fine. Hey Harry, do you have 25 beats for us? Jesus. That's it! That's all the beans we need! Woo! Sorry, we couldn't have done it without you. I, I, appre I appreciate the effort they they go to. So, I, 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 will, I will take the card, even though I have no use for it, because I missed that one in the fucking potions dungeon, and I can't get the last one. I fucked it all up. <sighs> oh well. Back up the elevator, I guess. Kind of thought that was supposed to be the rendezvous point, and like Fred and George were in on the whole um, 
dragon thing because well, you know it's their brother Charlie, and they're like, "Don't worry, Harry, we'll we'll get you out. You you meet us, we'll use our secret wizard tricks." Yeah. All right. This this is the last this is the last stretch, pretty much. Philosopher! It could produce the elixir of life. A potion that would make anyone immortal. You can also turn Someone shit to gold. To get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts Philosophers! The stone. It was the Philosophers! Stone that was down the forbidden corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the sword. Philosophers! But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of How fucking convenient! Tonight's the night! Let's go! How do you even know shit like that? He doesn't announce it over the tannoy or anything. What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. Mm. The last person who took their chances with the with Filch was Ned Stark. We all know how that turned like out. Somewhere else tonight. No. What? What? Fucking Rob Stark, not Ned. Jesus Christ. Come on, let's go. Fuck is wrong with me. Holy shit. Oh, it's a wizard card. Uh, may as well pick it up. Some looks like he's on the England Quidditch team. How oh, fucking great for him! This way, Harry. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold your damn, don't get your damn panties in a twist. Ron. I think this is where the growling has been coming from. No shit. Hear that? I don't think we should go in there. Yeah, we're going we've got to. to. Stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. Ah, oh, that's fucking confidence inspiring. Okay, so, yeah. 